어. 안녕하세요. And I want to tell you why I like it, including ease of use. I'm going to show you how to install it. And I'm going to show you how to use it on your app. Uh, oh, and before I forget, let me close that. No one's in the house. All right, time for the unboxing. Let's get started. And there it is, the Ring DoorView Cam Battery Powered Doorbell. It's a motion activated doorbell and camera that replaces the peephole on your door. And you can see here the most important specs include HD video, two-way talk, impact sensor, and easy installation. I'm already in love with this product. Cool, so we've got some paperwork right here. Okay, this is how you can install it. I'm gonna go through the steps pretty soon. Say hello to Ring. Interesting. All right, so this looks like a little bit of paperwork. Easy steps. Setting it up, okay, more paperwork. Something else is inside here. Oh yeah, this is part of the installation. We'll talk about this pretty soon. So there's the camera. That's how the camera looks like. This is the part that goes through the peephole. This is the exterior part. The, the interior part is this one. So this goes inside your door. This goes outside your door. You connect both of them through the peephole, I'm gonna show you how that's done. Let's see what else is inside the box. That's the door view kit. Okay, there's the battery. So that's the battery. This is an adjustable nut, and that is used to tighten it. This is an adapter, so you can use this if your peephole is large. What else do we got here? Look at the color of this USB cable. Let's go find out how to install this thing. So the first step that you gotta do is charge the battery. You've got the USB cable and you've got the battery, so charge it before we start the process. So we're gonna start the process by using the door view key, which comes with the product. It's right here, and we're gonna use this to remove the peephole. Let's do it. The first step before we remove the indoor half, we need to clean up any paint. I don't have this problem right here, but if your peephole was painted over, you may have to remove the excess in order to unscrew it. If not, you can skip the step. So you gotta check for paint on or around your peephole, both indoors and outdoors, and you can use the toothed edge of the door view key to carefully remove paint covering the edges or slots. I don't have this problem right now, but if you have paint, you can use the toothed edge to do that. So now let's go ahead and remove the indoor half. So on the indoor side, place the flat edge of the door view key into the slots on your peephole and rotate counterclockwise like this to unscrew it. So once it's loose enough, you can use your fingers to finish unscrewing and you can remove it completely. You may want to store your peephole in case you have to reinstall it one day, so simply screw the two ends together and store it in a safe place. 
So with the peep hole removed, insert the outdoor assembly through the hole until your peep hole sits flush against the door. If your peep hole has yellow tape securing the cable to the tube, peel it off and discard it. Now let's see if you'll need the adapter. You're going to need the adapter if the hole is larger, but you may not need it, so it depends. In my case, the hole is too large even with the adapter, but that's fine. You can tighten it with the nut. Now let's set up the indoor half of your peep hole. Hold the rear assembly by the thin edge of its body, then grasp and pinch the cover here and pull them apart. You can set the cover aside for now. So next, carefully guide the indoor assembly onto the tube until it's flush with your door and make sure you don't accidentally push the outdoor assembly out of the door. Now it's time to remove the connector cable from the tube, so it's gonna be a little bit tricky. In my case, because the, the hole was too big, it was a little bit difficult to navigate its way through, but you're gonna find your way. Just pull the tube outside and secure it. You gotta draw it out of the tube until there's no more slack left. So if your peephole has an orange cap of the tube, remove it and discard it. Then you can secure the front of your peephole and place the tightening nut onto the tube and tighten firmly by turning clockwise by hand or use the peephole key and make sure it's secure enough. Make sure it doesn't wobble or move anymore. Make sure it's tight. Take your time and try to make it level and straight. And there you go guys, that was pretty easy to install. It's right here, it actually looks really cool. And there's the doorbell, there's the camera. You've got an infrared sensor as well that works at night. You've got motion detection. I'd say it looks really cool. <laughs> and the best part is, you don't have to use any kind of adhesive or screws or anything like that. I mean, it's genius, the idea is pretty cool. By using the nut to tighten it, you're holding these two pieces together. So one from the outside and one from the inside without needing anything to hold them together. And I think this idea is just incredible. Hats off to the designers. Oh, and by the way, this looks incredible. <laughs> Protected by ring audio video surveillance. So I think this looks good right on top of it so that people know what this is. Using the app for this device is pretty simple. Just download the Ring app, select the type of door you have, for example, the front door, say that you've installed it already if you did, and then follow the instructions on the screen. You've got to wait for the light ring around the button to begin spinning and you can hear the, you can hear the speaker saying something. Now you are ready to connect to your camera. The spinning white light means that your ring doorbell is getting ready to connect your, to your phone. So once your camera is ready, you can connect to your camera by following the following steps. First, you have to create a hotspot. You can connect to the ring's hotspot. And then once you connect to ring's hotspot, you can connect to your Wi-Fi network. Select your Wi-Fi network and then enter your password. Once you enter your password, you are ready to go. Your ring doorbell is connecting to your network and then it will restore your phone's internet connection. Now it's ready to connect to your Wi-Fi network. Wait until the, the wait until the installation is done and then you can use your camera. Up next, your camera may ask you for some firmware updates. So click accept and it may take up to 15 minutes. Now I understand that you can't wait to try out your door view cam, but like they're saying, you gotta wait until the light stops flashing. Now you're ready to go. You can set up, for example, if your ring doorbell faces a busy path or hallway, you can adjust the motion sensitivity to avoid unwanted motion events. So that's a cool option you have on the phone. Click yes if you want that, but that's gonna take more processing power to process this. 
And if you want your ring doorbell to detect motion, you can also set that up. Of course, you would want motion to be detected. I'd recommend you keep motion detection on. Another cool feature is advanced motion detection. This option gives you customizable motion zones, improved accuracy, and more control. So this means that your motion can also stop before the end of a recording and the video is trimmed so you can only see the footage that matters. I recommend keeping the setting because that saves you space as well. You don't want to record everything, so advanced motion is cool. Go ahead and play around with the other options and find out what is suitable for you. For example, the motion zone sensitivity, if you want to make it more sensitive, if your main door is covered by an outer door, privacy features. So if you want to block the neighbor's door for privacy reasons that's also cool if you want to disable audio streaming and recording so many options to explore i highly suggest you go through each and every one of these options you can also add shared users if you want to add family members you can have their you can add their email addresses and these people can also access your camera Mode settings let you take control of your home with different modes. These are the modes that you have, disarmed, home, and away. For disarm mode, you can select this mode to move freely inside and outside your home. By default, indoor cameras won't detect motion, and you can also set your default mode. The main dashboard displays your recent activity and also the recent footage. For example, here, that's the footage one minute ago. If you click on that, you can play it. I highly recommend that you explore all the options in the app to get the full experience of the product. Live view is one of the other cool options. It lets you view what's happening right outside your door live. And also, the cool thing about this camera is that it has a microphone and two-way talk so by clicking on the microphone button, you can talk and the person outside can hear you talking, which means that you can also scare away intruders or prank people if you want. So if you want to record your videos, you have to get a plan from ring.com slash recording, and you can add an extra layer of security to your home with a ring protect plan. You can get a protect basic to activate video recording and event sharing for your ring camera, or you can choose protect plus to cover unlimited ring cameras for one flat rate. The basic plan will cost you $30 per year, whereas the Protect Plus plan will cost you $100 per year. And the main difference between them is that the basic plan has a limited number of cameras, which is one, whereas the Protect Plus has an unlimited number of cameras with extended warranty. One of the useful applications that I can think of for this particular product is the ability to instruct and guide and monitor as well delivery people. So people from Amazon and FedEx and companies like that, whenever they deliver to you and if you are especially not at home, you can tell them what, what to do with the parcel, where to place it, what to do with it, you can instruct them. And thanks to the two-way talk functionality, there's a microphone and a speaker, they can hear you and you can hear them. So there's a conversation, a live conversation going on and because of the live functionality, you can see exactly what they're doing. So that's an added bonus. It's safe and it's secure that way. You know what's going on in your house, outside your house. And I think this is one of the best features for this device. Could you please put it in the, you see the fire hose on your right? Fire hose cabinet. Because uh -huh. I'm not in the house. Yeah, yeah. Can you open it, please? Put it inside. No problem. Yeah, okay. Inside. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Now, the live functionality is really nice, but I noticed that sometimes there's a bit of lag or um, there's a bit of a delay to activate the live functionality, and sometimes it could be frustrating. I looked that up and it says probably the reason is because your device is far, far away from the Wi-Fi router, which is true. My Wi-Fi router is far away, but I need to conduct more testing and find out better solutions, maybe a Wi-Fi extender or something like that. So that is one of the problems that I found so far with the device. If you want to engage with the live view immediately, sometimes there's a long delay. And by the time it's activated, perhaps the person that is in front of your door, that person might leave.
And that's about it guys. This product is so incredible. It's so easy to install. It offers a lot of features and functions and you don't need any kind of adhesive. You don't need any kind of screws to set it up. Uh, the battery, I think lasts long. I gotta test that, but so far I'm really impressed. And I actually prefer this kind of camera than the ones on, on the corners because you are able to see the person at eye level. Whereas these cameras on the top, they're gonna to be showing you the person's hand like this. So the person might be entering the place and they're gonna be seeing their, the top of their hands like that. So these kind of cameras are actually even better, in my opinion. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.